You must have had a very busy week. How do you feel? Well, I feel, really feel well. Something tired. But we have to work very much, work very much. Here, I am facing some news because this night I have to continue my job. Well, Fidel Castro, at the age of 32, you now have in your hands a great deal of power and a great deal of responsibility. Aren't you a little frightened by this? Well, really not frightened because I have self-confidence. But there's supposed to worry, of course. Not frightened, but a little worried. <laughs> now, what about your personal safety? This is something you must think about, or uh, doesn't that worry you? Really, what I think is that I have no time to think in my personal safety. Is it true that you go wandering about the streets occasionally all by yourself? Yes, of course. I like to be alone most of the time. My friends don't like, and sometimes they come with me. But really, I don't like to be with personal work. Tell me, Fidel Castro, are you concerned at all about the communist influence in Cuba? Oh, I'm not worried because really there is no threat about communism here in Cuba. Fidel, I'm told that you saw your mother for the first time in four years this Christmas Eve. That must have been quite a reunion. What did she have to say to you? Well, really, what I remember is that she began to cry at the beginning, and that means several things. She could not tell any words to me. Well, I'm sure she must have asked about her grandson. Wasn't Fidelito supposed to be with us tonight? Well, Fidelito. Hello, Fidel Jr. Hi. That's a very good-looking puppy you have there. Is he yours? No, it's somebody gave it to my father for a present. Uh-huh. Uh, do you have a dog of your own? Yes, I have two dogs. Two dogs? What, what kind of dogs are they? Well, of all the little. Just small ones, huh? <laughs> uh, Fidel, when was the last time you were in the United States? Well, I was in the United States from October to December in 1955. In 1955? Yes. When do you think you'll be visiting us again? Oh, well, in June, July. I think when I have a chance. Well, will that be uh, with the beard or without it? <laughs> well, uh, it's possible if I go soon to the United States with the beard. Because I am not thinking now to, to cut my beer. Because I, I am accustomed to my beer. And my beer means many things to my country. When we have a fulfilled our promise of good government, I will cut my beer. Fidelito, have you heard from any of your friends at school here in New York? Yes. I got a book here from some of my friends. A book of letters? Yes. Well, now, what, what did they say? To Fidel Castro Jr. from his class at PS20 Queens, New York, USA. This is Fidelito now. Hola y bienvenidos a una nueva edición de nuestra entrevista. Hoy hablamos con Dr. Fidel Castro Díaz Balar, prestigioso físico nuclear, pero también uno de los hijos de Fidel Castro, conocido como Fidelito. Buenos días, muchísimas gracias por su tiempo. Bueno, usted es un físico nuclear. Hablando del futuro del planeta, la comunidad mundial apuesta en gran medida por las tecnologías energéticas de punta. ¿Cómo evalúa los conocimientos que se tienen en el mundo al respecto y el uso que hace de estos la comunidad mundial? Realmente cuando se quiere analizar el balance energético mundial y la crisis energética, más que, que balance, porque lo que hay es falta de energía de diferentes tipos. Hay... You see his last name? I'm going to show you now who is family of 
Fidel Castro Diaz Valar, son of Fidel Castro. Congressman Mario Diaz Valar is cousin of Fidel's son. As the 111th session of Congress convenes, there are many, many issues that I'm going to continue to work on. Number one is jobs, creating more jobs, more secure jobs, making sure that people don't lose their jobs. We can do so by passing a responsible stimulus package that doesn't raise taxes and doesn't blow up the budget. We also need to get out of this dependence on foreign oil. I led on that issue in the past. I'm going to continue to lead on that issue to make sure that we get out of this dependence on foreign oil. Well, joining me now is Florida Congressman Mario diaz Bolart, who has been on the forefront of immigration reform for the last uh, several years. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. And, you know, the senators, the Gang of Eight, have expressed vocally that they're worried that the House is going to tackle reform piece by piece. They say that's not the way to go with reform. Look, the way to do it is the way we can pass it. Uh, and what we have to look for is a bill that is that makes sense, that is enforceable, that will not make the same mistakes of the 86 uh, reform mm -hmm. uh, that secures the border. And, you know, as far as it, whether it's one big bill or, you know, one bill, a strategy decision more than a policy decision. Well, it, it is, but it's, so what's the, what's the strategy that's going to get it passed? Well, that's the thing. I mean, uh, you know, I, I think what you're going to see in the House is, in uh, in a very short while is a uh, a bill introduced a bipartisan bill uh, that will fix what's broken and look you know what that what's broken is frankly pretty extensive the entire immigration system is broken and we don't yes. doesn't work for our national security interests for our economic interests uh, so I think you're going to see a bill introduced that deals with most of the components okay. uh, whether that bill this is from the movie Fidel in our land. It's, it's only their freedom and their land. Eddie Chivas was going to give Cuba back to us. But the man who carries the fallen torch of Eddie Chivas, who carried with him the hopes for the future, is Roberto Agramonte. This is supposed to be Fidel in the movie. This is Fidel with uh, Diaz Balar's uh, wife. She had the first Agramonte. wife. Is 16 points ahead of the Brio party. 16 points. One week left. <laughs> Matisse is so far behind that he might as well go back to his gangster friends in Miami. Agamonte is going to be the next president. But until we have cleansed our beloved country of the corruption and crime that are his legacy, free and honest elections cannot possibly take place. What is it? What are you doing? Have you tried to phone you? The phone is not working. Have you heard the radio? Hear what? There's been a call. A call? By this time. The army is The police are in the street right now. Stay here with Fidelito. You will be all right. What's that shoes? Here, here, here. But this the one hurt you, you tell me. You're from the Diaz Ballard family. You have to say that, all right? Here, here. Be careful. Yes. Mirta Díaz-Balart, 